Hey guys, it's this little cloth here. Today inside of this Monster Legends video, I'm going to be deciding which corrupted mythic is the best out of these three OP corrupted mythics. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first one we are going to look at is Mousirion. You can see him right there. His design is pretty decent. It's not my favorite though. And we can go on down to the pros. He has access to Megaton, which is amazing. Every team needs a Megaton to be successful. So this monster definitely is good because of that. And then he also has some nice sustainable shields and damage protection, which is really good. And he has Skill Mirror, which is amazing with Megaton. And a great special, apparently. Outstanding trait, great life, great relic slots, moderate to low stamina costs, and cooldowns on most skills. So his cons are no NER, no negative effect removal, bad speed, and anti-catwall has four cooldowns. So that's his best move, but it has four cooldown, which isn't that good because you have to wait four turns to do it. And most of the time, you're pretty much dead by four turns into a fight. And we can see his recommended moveset right here. I'm not really going to look at this for too long. I'm just going to look. Okay, he does have a Mega Taunt move right here. And it has damage protection too, which is pretty good. So yeah, overall, this monster is obviously really good because it's in the OP tier. So now let's move on to the next monster, Spectra. So Spectra looks like this, if you didn't know. Now let's look at her pros and cons. She has a lot more pros. Access to Pierce. Pierce is amazing. It can hit right through Megaton, so this monster wouldn't even be able to compete with this monster. And it has the highest power stat in the game, apparently. And it's the fastest monster in the game, apparently, which is just amazing. And it has an amazing trait. Nearly all moves have one cooldown, which is really good. And access to four useful negative effects, which is great. Great relic slots, moderate to low stamina cost, crazy special, has a fire skill as a magic monster, which is pretty good, and has a decent zero stamina, zero cooldown move. That's amazing. And its cons, only one damaging AoE, so honestly, that doesn't really matter to me. And easily denied lowest life of all corrupteds in the game. That would matter. And Culling the Weak has a four cooldown. So one of his good moves has a four cooldown, which isn't that big of a deal if he has a zero stamina, zero cooldown move. And now let's move on to the next monster. So this is Master Rat. Master Rat is just fantastic. Good trait, good speed, great team support skills. Nice cursing gimmicks. Has an extra turn. His extra turn's really good. Good special, great relic slots, and low cooldowns on most moves. So this monster is really good with the new Unrelenting Assault. If you can put that on this monster, it can 100% just win with its extra turn and stuff. So it is just pretty amazing. And we can look at its extra turn move. I can't quite... Oh, it's this one right here. Short and Swift. Ally NER. So it's negative effect removal and self extra turn. That's amazing. Really good move. So obviously this monster is super good because it is in the OP tier. So now let's go on to ranking them. So the best one in my opinion... Or let's start off with the worst. The worst one in my opinion is probably... I'm going to have to say Spectra. I just don't think she's as good as Master Eye. It's between these two because I do think Masterion is the best... Just because he has Megaton, and every team needs a Megaton nowadays. So I would put Mouserion in the front at number one. But number two is between Spectra and Master Rat. I'd probably have to say Master Rat is number two. I think Spectra is the worst one, even though she has a lot of good pros and some great moves. I just think Master Rat is better. Master Rat is just super good, and with Unrelenting Assault, he's like OP++ tier, <laughs> if that existed. So yeah, overall, Master Rat's really good. Masterion is definitely number one for me, just because of Megaton. And Spectre is still really good, though. If you have Spectre, definitely use her. She's OP, and yeah, I just think that she's the worst out of the OP so far. She might be better than some of the upcoming monsters. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.